Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 18th through the 24th. And this is for the sign of Aries. Sorry, I just put lotion on my hands, so <laughs> I didn't get that right. Okay, so this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus of Aries, okay? Keep in mind that this may not resonate with you, okay? Use discernment here, okay? If it doesn't resonate with you, then it's not meant to be, all right? The timing is fluid. This could have happened, could be happening now, could be happening in the near future. This is for the sign of Aries, June 18th through the 24th. Please, um... Keep all negative comments about another sign out of the comments section, okay? Keep it out. I don't need to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Keep that stuff out of the comments because I delete and block without hesitation for any negative comments about another person. I mean, you can, you can tell about your situation, but just don't put their sign in there, okay? There's no need, okay? So, anyhow, what I have here is a new exciting opportunity, okay? Right off the bat. You have a new uh, a new invitation or a new offer that's exciting, it's daring, um, it's you know a newfound eagerness for something. But but even though you're eager, it's like you're not you don't quite have the confidence to do it. So I'm not sure what this is, but you know you're being called to. Accept this invitation, whatever it is. Whatever it is, you know, you take a risk. Okay, take a risk. Mm. Oh, there you are. Look at that. It fell. You, I don't know if you saw how, how it, like, rolled. It's you. It's you. And that's why I shuffle on camera. It, I mean, that's crazy shit right there. So there you are. <laughs> Amazing, huh? In control. Decisive. Standing strong, right in your own element this week, taking the lead, very organized, you know, protecting what is yours. You have some choices to make. You have a choice to make, Aries. And you're afraid. I think that you're afraid of making the wrong decision. Okay? You are probably confused about this exciting opportunity because you want to keep things under control you're trying to keep it under control you're trying to keep things structured you have to make a choice about something or a decision you know you have to be decisive you know you have to be strong you have to protect everybody involved Ooh, there's going to be some sort of shock that comes about. Something shocking could happen. Um, but this, whatever happens, is going to bring you happiness. Which is, it's hard to believe, right? It's a blessing in disguise. You are, something is going to happen. It's got some kind of upheaval. Maybe it's happening right now. Or it's going to happen in the very near future. That probably causes you to take the lead. You have to take the lead. Okay, and and decide what is the right path to take, what to do, how are we going to handle this, keep things under control. Uh, you know, something is going to happen, Aries, I'm not sure what it is, that it allows you to release something that has been holding you back, it does. This, this this upheaval that comes about it allows you to release some sort of problem in your life. Okay, the Nine of Swords reverse, something that you've been worrying about, something that you maybe you've been waiting for this to happen. Maybe you've been waiting for this breakdown to happen. It was coming. You probably knew it was coming. Anyway, this breakdown is coming, whatever it is, it's coming. And it's maybe this is what you need to move on because there's wish fulfillment here, okay? This is the universe protecting you as well. I'm getting the chills as I talk because I consider the 
the Tower Universe card, and I consider the Star card a protection card. The universe is protecting you from something. Maybe it's some sort of lies or, or something because the devil brings in lies. I feel like you are being universally protected by by somebody. Could be a mother. Oh my God, the goosebumps are unbelievable. So I'm not sure if you have a mother or a father, okay, that has passed away. I wish you could see if my shirt is on. It's like they're coming right out of my shirt. Anyway, some it feels like somebody from the other side is is um, is helping you through some situation. I'm not sure what this is. If it isn't a mother or father, it could be a soulmate, okay? It could be a partner that has passed away. I'm not sure what this is, but I feel like there is somebody from the other side that is protecting you, and they are working behind the scenes in your favor, and I don't, I don't know what this means, but this is for somebody. I can feel it. It's going through out my whole body. So let me just get this zoomed in. There is going to be an event Aries, there's going to be an event that allows you to let go of some anxiety, some restlessness, some some sort of burden that you've been carrying inside of you. Something has been weighing you down, causing you a lot of depression, per se. Whatever happens this week is going to give you an opportunity to make a decision, to make this decision that you know you need to make, whatever it is, and it's going to lead you down a new path, and this is an exciting new path, okay, it's very exciting, okay, and I feel as though what's happening is, is that you're going through some sort of rebirth, and you may not even know it, okay, this is what is happening, you haven't been progressing wherever you've been, there's been some sort of um, stall, that has been holding you back and it's been causing you some, you know, sleepless nights, restlessness, the whole nine yards. And it feels as though whatever, whenever this event happens, whatever it is, it's going to work out in your favor to bring you the wish fulfillment that you're looking for, whatever this is. Your challenge is the six of pentacles reversed, okay? This is your challenge and your challenge position. Your challenge, which is perfect, okay? Your challenge is that you're going to have to reject somebody. You're going to have to reject somebody, somebody's wishes. You're going to have to reject somebody's wishes. They've been manipulative. They've been lying. You know, whatever this is, somebody has been filling you up with some sort of illusion and you're going to have to reject them. That's your challenge this week. You're going to have to stand strong and do the right thing, even if it hurts, whatever this is. Okay, that's your challenge this week. Okay, so your outcome is happiness. You are going to find the wish fulfillment that you've been looking for and healing. Happiness, healing, renewal. Okay, you're going to have, find peace of mind, finally, right? Finally. You are. You're going to find some peace of mind. Um, I feel that in the future, you're still you you may be tempted to do something against your better judgment. Keep in mind that if you do go down that road, it will it will only bring you bad karma. Okay, with this devil card. Okay, there's some sort of karma that is being dealt with here. And you are going to have to make a choice. What do you choose? Do you choose the loving path or do you choose the materialistic path? Okay, so keep that in mind. And this is the card of love or money. What do you choose? Do you choose the stuff in the cups, which is the assets, the finances, whatever, the job could be, so what, whatever. Or do you choose the cups, which is the love? You have to make a choice, okay? You Do you do the, do the loving thing or do you do the thing that is going to benefit you materialistically, basically, okay? So this is a card of consequences. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. There's choices to be made here. You have to make a choice. There will be a consequence either way. You're going to have to reject something, okay? There's a rejection of something, an offer. And this could be a materialistic offer because it doesn't really serve you. So, you know, I feel as though 
this is a week of, of healing. It's a re week of renewal, and it's a week of temptation to make the right decision. You know, what is the right thing to do? What is go what what action is going to be made out of love? When you have to make this decision, make the most loving decision. That's what I have to say about that. Anyway, um, your advice, you know, in your advice position is the tower card. Okay, so I didn't need to get a clarifier for that, but that's the event. Okay, that is the event. That is... You can't fight destiny. It's a run of bad luck. Something is going to happen that you may see it as bad luck. You may see it as a setback, but it's actually a blessing in disguise. So be prepared. Be prepared for some sort of... Um, shock or event or upheaval or breakdown that takes the wedge out of the out of the wheel do you know what I'm trying to say it's going to help you to move forward where you've been stuck in a situation you've been stuck you've been stuck so your advice is to go with this don't resist it whatever it is don't resist it go with it so that you can move closer to your life's purpose You've been stalling, okay? You've been going backwards. Your advice is to let this happen. It's going to be intense. It's going to force you to look at things from a new perspective. You may have to think uh, very quickly when this happens, whatever it is. I don't want to scare you. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not I'm just telling you. The Queen of Swords is a quick thinker. She is very intense. Okay? And she looks at things from a new perspective. That's where that came from. Something has happened in which you have been... Or it's going to happen. That is going to allow you to move forward where you haven't been. You haven't been. You've been stuck in a rut in some scenario. Some area of your life. I'm not sure what this is. But... I want to figure out this Nine of Swords. That's the basis. Yeah, you've been staying in a situation that's unsatisfying. There's no satisfaction here. It's unrealistic to stay. Whatever this situation is, it's not realistic. You've been clinging to the past. Clinging to someone from your past. Or a past experience. Or a past dilemma. Or whatever. You've been clinging to something that has been causing you a lot of depression and it needs to go you need to see it from a different perspective you need to see this as a turning point and it feels like you haven't been okay this is like you could I mean there's so many different ways you could look at this but I feel as though at this time you need to really find your focus find your backbone find your integrity to go down this new path with with your head held high, whatever it is. I feel like you need to take charge of your own life. Take charge of this situation. Be the leader. Be the boss. Whatever's happening here, you are probably... Something is going to happen that probably forces you to take a different direction. That's what it looks like to me. It's like I, th I feel like there's going to be some sort of event that is going to broaden your horizons... And you may have been stalling this. You may have been like, you maybe you saw, knew this was coming. You knew it was around the corner. But you have been fear, fearing the change, you know. So I think that you have been not really letting it happen. But you can only fight it for so long. You can only fight it for so long before destiny and the universe takes over. And they say, okay, yeah, you can't fight this anymore. We're, we're going to... We're going to give you that kick that you need, um, unfortunately. It's only for your protection. <laughs> it is. It's only for your protection. Seriously. It's going to bring you the wishes that you've been dreaming about. And you may not see it as that, but that is the case. So right around the corner, probably midweek even, you are going to have to make some sort of decision that um, probably isn't going to be very... Uh, emotionally fulfilling <laughs> okay it's not it's you're it's really not going to 
be a happy decision. You're not going to be happy about having to make this decision. Okay. There could be the, and, and it could be the end of a love. It could be the end of a love affair. It could be the end of a, a love connection. I mean, it could be, it could be. Okay. Just saying. You may decide to finally let this go. I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, you guys need to step outside of your comfort zone. I, this is the challenge position. I made this sideways. This is just because that's a challenge card. The challenge is your your own. You've been mentally trapped. You've been trapping yourself in this. mental turmoil because but you knew that you had to make a change whatever this is like you know that you can free yourself you know that you can move on you know that you can take the lead you know that you can have the power but you've been choosing to stay in this situation that is going nowhere it's going nowhere it's your own mental thoughts it's your own thoughts holding you back seriously that's your challenge your challenge is are your thoughts it's your thoughts and the ability to reject people. You have to reject something. Something needs to be rejected because you deserve more. That, 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 another part of the Six of Pentacles reverse. These are your challenges. You don't even know what you deserve. You do deserve more. If somebody isn't giving you love and support, you absolutely deserve more. And you need to get out of your head about it. You need to step outside of your comfort zone. You need to let go of this mental turmoil. It's not satisfying and it's not realistic. And I feel what's happened here is there is there there could be lust with another person. If this is a love and romance, it's just lust. That's all it is. There's no love here in this situation. Okay, if that's the scenario. It's just, you know, somebody is being... Um, He's some girl. It's it. What happened? But the thing is, is it's a uh, new moon in Gemini, and I can't spit words out for nothing whatsoever. It's like my mind is like, Whoo! so just bear with me. I feel like you are being driven by the wrong energies. Okay, the devil brings in lies, manipulation, lust. Control, manipulation, addictions, obsessions. This is money. You're driven by the wrong things, okay? When you should, and this card would say so as well. You need to choose love. Choose love, Aries. Choose love. Self-love even. Somebody here has been clinging to the past and the universe wants them to move on from a situation that they are clinging to. It's been causing them a lot of depression, anxiety, repression, sadness, hurt. And they have been unable to let go of this situation that is less than emotionally fulfilling. It's caused them a lot of animosity and angst. It's been like an obsession because of the rejection, because of the ego. And that's the way the ego is. No, ego does not like to be rejected. Therefore, they want to prove. So I think the universe is coming in to cause some sort of event that is giving you an opportunity to go down a new exciting path so that you can find your backbone to take charge of your own life whatever this is I don't know what the hell this is but I feel like you guys are about to make a serious decision whether you like it or not it's going to happen to move on I see healing is happening or it's coming this is the outcome I see wish fulfillment you're going through a rebirth peace of mind is in your near future but you're going to have to let go of something that is very depressing that has been holding you back that has been less than fulfilling and has been causing you a lot of mental turmoil something is ending the ten of swords you know it's ending it's almost I mean it almost looks like a death card right and we have the tower. There's something that is breaking apart. It's breaking up. It's falling apart. It's dying. 
something is ending that needs to end so that you can move on. It truly is a blessing in disguise. You are being protected and you somebody from the other side is going to help you to get through this. I don't know what it is. Whatever's happening, it's 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 bringing you a lot of potential, okay? Something solid instead of not solid, okay? It's going to cause you to make new plans. Whatever's happening, it's going to force you to make new plans. Um, something practical, you know. It's, it's going to force you to be practical. Love yourself first. Remember I said go back to love? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And if this isn't a love reading, whatever this is happening in your life, whoever this is for, love yourself first. Go down the path that you are going to love. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And you haven't been feeling very playful, have you? Maybe you need to release something. I think you do. I think this is a week of taking charge in your own life. Dealing with a setback that changes everything. Forces you down a new path. Towards wish fulfillment. Talk to you later, Aries.